So in past videos, we've spoken about how to size a solar system, um, and but how to size a battery system can is, is quite a different process. Solar systems sizing is pretty mathematical, it's pretty scientific. Batteries is a little bit more based off your usage and what you want to use and what the application of the battery is. If you're looking to use it for backup, it's gonna depend on what you wanna power. How long do you wanna power it for? Are you gonna be able to get enough solar, another, enough solar power during the day to recharge your battery. So it's really, a, it's more of a conversation than me telling you this is what you need. Now, thankfully, batteries are expanded in pretty large amounts. So you have a standard battery system from LG Chem, for example, is a 10 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, you can add a second battery, you can add multiple inverters, you can add up to six batteries on a single system on multiple inverters. And that allows you to have 60 kilowatt hours of storage. That's a, that's a lot of storage. Uh, and that's, you know, for a large home using a lot of power, wanting to power the majority of their house for a, a pretty long period of time with solar charging it every day. The biggest advantage of these batteries, unlike say a generator, is that th that battery is gonna recharge every single day from, your, from the solar system. During the day, you're going to uh, be powered off your solar system at nighttime when there's no more sun out, you're gonna be drawing the power off your battery the next morning you're gonna be recharging your battery from your solar system and covering your daily loads on your home. And then at nighttime again, you're gonna rinse and repeat with pulling your power from your battery. That could in theory repeat forever. And in fact, when off in off-grid solar system application, that is exactly what happens during the day. Your battery is charged from your solar system. At night, you power your home off of your battery and you do that over and over again. That's the same thing in backup and that's our goal. That being said, when you're sizing a battery system, we highly suggest that you choose a handful of loads to power. A lot of people and a lot of companies are pushing whole home backup. And it's not to say that that's not possible. It is possible to do. But in the event of an outage, you wanna make sure that the most critical loads in your home are being powered by your battery. You don't want to turn on your air conditioner and draw your battery down in two hours and now you're out of power for the rest of the night. You wanna make sure that the battery system that we designed for you is gonna last as long as you want it to, cover the main loads in your house that are most important to you, like your refrigerator, like your lights, like some outlets, maybe your garage door. I've had a client who backed up their wine fridge because that was most important to them. So choose what's most important to you and back up those loads and ensure that it's installed correctly and its functions in the event of an outage because for something you're gonna spend a reasonable amount of money on for a backup system, in the event of an outage, you don't want it to fail. It's only gonna be used a couple times per year. You wanna make sure that those couple times per year where the power goes out, that your battery system functions. And installing it correctly, backing up the right loads is definitely best practice. We've got a great clip from LG Chem and Lynn Tran, our rep over there, discussing uh, how to best size a battery system. Hi, my name is Lynn Tran. I'm the Director of Sales for North America for LG Chem's uh, residential energy storage business and um, ultimately responsible for the LG Resi products that we have here in North America. Um, launched since mid-2017 and going strong. With one battery, typical backup loads are going to be anywhere between one and a half or two kilowatts. If you're, if you're using anything more than that, then you would probably have extraneous situations of you know, maybe a, a 6,000 square foot home or, or something of that nature. Um, but a 10 kilowatt hour battery under normal circumstances can power you anywhere from two to six, seven hours. A customer can expect to um, power their essential loads. Uh, what I like to do is in my mind, I think of the uh, the lithium battery, like a water tank, like your hot water tank in your home. Everybody has one of those, right? Um, if you were to find out that the water was going to be cut off, you know, um, one, you'd want to make sure that your water tank was working and was, you know, filled up. Um, and then you would be uh, using your water sparingly. So just like the way your water tank is storing water, now you have a lithium battery storing your, your solar energy. And so, one, that allows you to use it whenever you need to, but in terms of what can you expect that battery to power in your home, if there was an outage, what could you expect to still operate? Um, it's going to be the, the loads that you consider essential. The, the type of equipment in your home, your uh, router, perhaps your garage door for the elderly, um, a TV for communications, your refrigerator, you know, that's, that's the first one you want to do. Um, those are all very common, very essential loads that people are going to want to have emergency power on. 
Um, the more you use, the more you power, the faster your battery drains. The same way as if you had all the faucets on in your house, uh, your water tank would empty, you know, pretty quickly. Um, so it's always best to practice energy conservation during an outage, just for the sake of wanting to make your battery last longer, the exact same way that you would want to conserve your water resources.